So here we are at the second part of our video in which we have to add constraint to our bonds. So we, when we bend our umbrella, it will become straight, not in the curve form. Before going into the constraint part, I will add some remaining bonds that uh, we forgot to add in the first part. We will select this bond, create in between bonds. We have to add only on one side of this rigid edge, not on the other side. So select this one, E to extrude and hold control to snap it to the vertice and repeat the process for all of the edges. So here we are, all bones are created and before going into the postmos, we will have to recalculate the role of for all bones. So to do so, we will select all bones on one side and then the main bone and go into armature bone roll, recalculate roll and active bone. And now all roles of these bones are according to this active bone. So we have to repeat this process. So now all the bone rolls are good now and now we will go into the post modes and start our constraint part so going to the post mode we want this controller to control the stretching of this umbrella we will name that bone controller right here and now we have to add an ik constraint to all of these bones and select this bone as a controller so to do so select this one and this control shift c inverse kinematics now if i move this bone this will work and one thing more you can lock these other two axes because it's only moving along the local y axis as you go into the bone constant tab you can check chain length is zero so this uh, ik effect will be to this end of this bone so now we will have to add it to all of these remaining seven bones select this one and then this one control shift c inverse kinematic So now these are all IK rigged and this is controller for all of these bones. Now if I move this you can see it's closing but these all are not reacting according to this. Uh, we will add that later. First we have to add a transformation constraint to this bone. So when we uh, rotate this controller like this it will become straight and not into curve form. So to do so we will select this bone and go into the transformation and select that armature. And now select the controller bone. We want to control the rotation of this bone with the location of this bone. As it moves downwards, this bone will rotate to become straight. To do so, we will select target and owner axis to be local space. And we want the rotation of this bone to map from the location of this bone. We will select location. So we want to set the minimum and maximum value of the location. As you can see, this is minimum value. And if I go into 1.5 it's round but here it's good so this will be our maximum value so bring it to zero and now choose this one and bring the value to maximum 1.5 meters now map to we want the rotation to effect we will select rotation if we change the x-axis this is not what we want we and y this is also not what we want we if we move it along that axis this is the right axis go into the front mode and check uh, which angle is good like I think 19 is a good number so this will look straight so we will copy this and keep the minimum value 0 and maximum value 20 select this z axis to y y to x and x to y x to z so now if I move this one like here you can see it becomes straight but it's not moving along with this and we will add that later we have to apply transformation constant to all these bones so select these bones and at the end select this active one going to pose constraints 
copy constraint to selected bones now this constraint is applied to all bones you don't have to adjust and now we will connect this bone to this one so to do so we will select parent bone and then this one and control shift c and select child of and now if i move this this will be controlled by this one so now we have to repeat that process select this one and this one control shift c child of so now if i move this controller bone all of these ones will bend but as you can see this uh, controller bone is moving exceeding the limits so going to bone constant limit location we want the minimum value to be 0 and maximum value 1.5 and choose the axis to local space now if i move this it will not go beyond 1.5 and not before 0 meter and same goes for all these bones go into front mode and select this one so it's almost straight but we will configure that select this uh, transformation select this target layer and controller bone and after this local space full space map from location 1.5 and go into the rotation and yeah on what five yeah copy this uh, paste it here and now change the axis now if i move this this one will stay up like this so we want to copy this constraint to all of these repeat the process like we did before select these all ones and after that active one and go into the pose constraints and copy co constraints to selected bones and same goes for this one like uh, if i go to this this pose constraints copy selected bone and if i go into this one and see uh, what will work will be 2.5 i guess yeah 2.5 this one will work at 2.5 now i will have to copy all these constraints of this bone to all the other bones that are remaining on all other sides like this and select the active bone go into pose constraints and copy constraint to select bones now these are selected now we want to affect also the rotation so it will cut a ridge between these edges we will select this one and we press 7 we want along this one go into your transformation select this armature controller local space local space map from 1.5 map to rotation and let's see which will work perfectly for this one mm -hmm. This will work if I go into 45. Yeah, I will press uh, 45 value for this one. And if I go into GZ, uh, let's see how it looks. Change this to Y and X Z 45. Now uh, we will do this to 75 and now I will copy this constraint to all other bones. So select these bones, then select this one, pause constraints and copy constraint to active one and then also select these all bones. I will select all of them because target is same only and the axis is same. And also the rotation will be same so I will select all remaining bones and then select this active one go into pose 
constraints copy constraint to active bonds now if i move this all bonds will react like this so this is it and in the next part i will tell you how to do weight painting of this umbrella once more i can show you it will react something like this yes thank you i'll see you in the next video